Hi everyone and welcome to the Leaf YouTube channel. My name is Ricky and today we're going to be looking at early literacy under the framework of dialogic reading. What's dialogic reading I hear you cry? Well, dialogic reading is a concept based work by Dr Whitehurst and the Stony Brook Reading and Language Project. According to Dr Whitehurst, in dialogic reading, the adult helps the child to tell their own story. The adult becomes the listener, the questioner and the audience for the child. The dialogic reading approach will help support your child to be confident and joy reading books. This practice encourages adults to use pictures along with prompts and cues to actively engage children in the process of reading. Here at LEAF, we aim to develop a love for books, reading and story times, encouraging our children to become eager, emergent readers. The fundamental technique within dialogic reading is the peer technique. This is a short interaction between the child and the adult. Let's give it a go. P. So prompt the child to talk about the story. What can we see? E. Evaluate the child's response. You can see a wiggly worm. E. Expand the child's response by rephrasing and adding to it. The wiggly worm is going to go on a journey. R. Repeat the prompts to make sure the child has understood the expansion. So the wiggly worm is going on a journey. Where could he go? Within the peer technique, there are five prompts which we refer to as crowd. Let's give them a go. C. Completion prompts. Leave a blank at the end of the sentence and encourage the child to fill it in. Hip hip hooray for... That's right, super worm. Ah, recall prompt. Once you finish the story, ask the child to see if they can recall what's happened. What happened to the wiggly worm? O. Open-ended prompt. Using the picture, ask an open-ended question. Now that the wiggly worm is free, what's going to happen next? W. What prompts. To encourage new vocabulary, why not ask what, where, when, how questions? What do you think is going to happen next? D. Distancing prompts. Using the pictures, open a conversation about their own real-life experiences. Anyone seen a worm in real life? Thank you for watching the video today, and if you would like further examples of home learning, comment below and subscribe.